Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video, we saw that this problem could not be solved by the technique of the method of undetermined coefficients the way we had initially learned how to do that. The problem was that on the right side of the equation, the g of t function right here had the same exponent as could be found in the general solution of the homogeneous part. And therefore, the general format of the particular solution cannot be made to be as follows. Y particular cannot be equal to A times E to the 4T. We have to do something else because we notice that when we try that, we end up with an inconsistent situation where we had 0 equals E to the 4T. We can solve that by multiplying this times a T. Now, that will now become the general form of the particular solution, and now we're going to do everything exactly the same way. We're going to take this equation, and we're going to substitute yp, y prime of p, and y double prime of p into the equation, and find the undetermined coefficient that way, with the general form to be t times e to the 4t, instead of simply e to the 4t. And that one will work. Now, we still have to be careful if, for example, our general solution had a t e to the 4t as well as an e to the 4t, then the next step would be to multiply this times t squared and just continue to work it out that way. And we'll see some examples later of that. But let's use this one here first. So first we're going to get the first derivative of this, the particular solution prime, which is equal to, now here we have a product, so we have to use a product rule. So we have a times, we'll take the constant out, the first, times the derivative of the second, which is 4e to the 4t, plus the second, e to the 4t, times the derivative of the first, which is 1. So now we have what we'd call the first derivative of that. Now we need to find the second derivative, y double prime of p. And so it still gives us a times. Here we have 4 times this product. So we end up with uh, 4 times the first, t, times the derivative of the second, which is 4e to the 4t, plus the second, which is 4e to the 4t, times the derivative of the first. So I'm including the 4 with the 4e to the 4t here. So that's the first times the derivative of the second, which is 4 times 4, which is 16, plus the second, times the derivative of the first, which is 1, plus the derivative of this, which is 4e to the 4t. Of course, we need to simplify that a little bit more, so this can be written as a times 16t e to the 4t, and then we have plus, we can add these together, plus 8e to the 4t. There we go. And we still have to find the undetermined coefficient a. But now we're ready to do so. We can now plug that into the original differential equation. y double prime is what we have right there. So it would be a times 16 t e to the 4t plus 8 e to the 4t. Okay. Now we have minus 5 times y prime, which is right here. So minus 5 times y prime, which is going to be, well, I could put the a in front. Let me do that. So a times, here we have 4t e to the 4t and plus e to the 4t plus 4 times y plus 4 times y, which is right here. That would be a times t e to the 4t, and finally we're going to set that equal to the right side of the equation, which is e to the 4t. All right, now we're ready to find a. So we have terms that contain t times e to the 4t. We have one here, we have one here, and we have one here. And then we have terms that only have e to the 4t. We have one there and we have one there. So we're going to add those separately. So here we have 16a minus 20a, and here we have 4a. So add that together. That gives us 16a minus 20a, 
and plus 4a. And quickly, that looks like that's going to be 0. So this is going to be times t e to the 4t. And then we add the other terms together, the ones that are associated with e to the 4t. So we have one here that would be plus 8a times e to the 4t. And there we have another one that's minus 5. So it would be minus 5a multiplied times e to the 4t. And that will then be set equal to the right side, which is e to the 4t. So notice on the left side here, since this whole thing is going to be equal to 0, I cannot do anything with that. That's simply 0. But on here, I have an 8a minus 5a, which becomes 3a e to the 4t is equal to e to the 4t, which means that 3a is equal to 1. So 3a is equal to 1, which means a is equal to 1 over 3. So now I have actually determined the undetermined coefficient, which is the coefficient right here, which means this is equal to 1 third t e to the 4t. And this is now the particular solution of that differential equation. All I have to do now is add that to the homogeneous part of the solution. And so this becomes equal to c1 e to the 4t plus c2 e to the t. That's a homogeneous part plus the particular part 1 third t e to the 4t. And this now becomes the general solution of my original differential equation. So now you know the trick, and you have to watch out for it if the exponent here is the same as one of the exponents in the homogeneous equation, you then have to find a different way of expressing the general form of the particular solution. We simply take a e to the 4t and multiply times t. If that also appears in here, then you multiply times t squared, t times q, whatever it takes to start finding the undetermined coefficient. And that's how it's done. I don't know if that's the same as what I got here. Yes, it is the same. Oh, no, it is. Well, let's see. Glasses? Yes, the same.